what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel yes we are still on location on vacation hence the sunglasses i really hope you guys don't mind me wearing them in this video um but that's what we're dealing with so in the last video i told you guys that i was going to be showing you different ways to style the gorgeous printed skirt and shirt set from zara and the reason for this is I feel like sometimes people struggle with styling unique pieces like this in their closet and really getting more wear out of them without feeling like they're repeating the same outfit. So I'm gonna share with you guys the tips and tricks that I use to kind of maximize those unique pieces in my closet. And of course, if you guys are curious about the sunglasses or anything that I'm wearing, I will leave it linked down below in the description box. So let's get into the video. Before I really dive in and get into these outfits here, I wanted to give you an update on a bag that I showed you guys in one of my other videos from Petty Blake. You may remember in the other video that I shared this bag, and if you don't, then I'll leave the video linked in the card above so you can go check that out. But I shared this genuine leather bag with you guys from Teddy Blake, and as you guys know, they gifted me this item a while ago, and I picked this one because I did not have a tote. And you know all the girlies, when they're traveling or when they're doing their content days, or work days, they wanna to go to you know a cafe and bring their laptop and things like this. All the girlies have a tote bag, and I did not have a tote bag. I did not realize how much I needed something like this in my life. So now that I've been using it and wearing it for a while, I kinda of wanted to give you an update on how it's held up. Honestly, I use this for everything. I take it with me when I'm running errands. I take it with me when I'm traveling. I take it with me when I'm going to the airport. It's the most chic piece added to all of my outfits that when I'm on the go. It hasn't scratched up one bit, and I am not gentle with this, you guys. I use this a lot. I throw it around in my room whenever I'm done with it. It's held up so nicely. Honestly, it looks brand new, just like the first day that I got it. This is the one that has the red interior. I absolutely love the chicness and style that this gives to my on-the-go outfits. I don't know what I would do without it. And that is me being truly genuine with you guys. I use this almost every day. And the reason I'm sharing it with you guys again and kind of updating you is because they're actually having a huge sale right now. If you've been eyeing a tote bag or any other cute bag that they have on their website, because let me tell you, they have so many cute bags for any personal style, and you're looking for that designer feel but something a little bit more affordable, then this is the perfect time to go jump on it while they're having their huge sale. They're gonna be having up to 70% off on some of their bags. And as always, I will of course leave a link down below where you guys can shop their website. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the outfits now. So now let's go over kind of the tips and tricks that I like to follow to style these unique pieces in my closet and really get the most wear out of it. Something that I always consider first are the colors in the pattern. One thing I'll assess is what are all the colors in this that I really like that I would want to stand out. For me, I love orange, so I would definitely want to bring more attention to the orange in the skirt, maybe even this lime yellow, definitely some blues in here. I'm not a huge purple person and this color right here is purple, so I probably wouldn't accentuate the colors that I'm not super crazy about. I would definitely accentuate the colors that you love and that stand out to you. But that being said, if you're a purple person, you could definitely go for a dark purple. So that is really the first step to evaluating how I would style this item. Is I think about how would I wear it dress up and how would I wear it dressed down. If I was wearing this skirt, how could I wear it in a way that it would be a daytime kind of dress down feel, not too fancy or fussy, but just sort of comfortable, cool, and a little bit dressed down. So my favorite way to dress you know, a really dressy piece like this down is to throw on a nice t-shirt, either knotted in the front or tucked in and with some heels or really you could do it with flat sandals too, but I would prefer heels. So one thing that I did is I got a t-shirt and I, you could either go with a white t-shirt. I'm sure everyone has a white t-shirt in their closet. So you could go with a white t-shirt, which would be really nice, simple, classic. And then the skirt is really just doing all the talking and then have a nice pair of pumps or something like that. I have an orange pair of pumps. So if I was gonna go the t-shirt route, I would wear this with maybe a white t-shirt and some orange pumps, or I have actually a blue t-shirt that matches this darker blue, so I could go with a blue t-shirt and orange pumps. So throwing on something unexpected like that with a skirt like this, you have such a casual dress down item on top and then you have your skirt and your heels. And I really think that it just gives 
sort of an effortless, very stylish, but also like non-fussy kind of a look. And I love that. That's exactly how I would wear it to a nice daytime event, to a lunch or something like that. Now let's say I wanted to dress it up a little bit more dressy than just a t-shirt, but maybe keep it a little bit more daytime. I would go for maybe a white poplin button-up shirt tucked in, and if I was feeling a little spicy, I'd throw on an orange bralette. And actually, you're gonna see in all the try on clips that I'm wearing my orange bralette with almost all of the tops that I styled with this, and that's just me. You don't have to do that, obviously. You could just have it more simple with just the shirt and no bralette. But for me, that's what I like to do. I like to match my orange bralette with my orange pumps. So that's just a personal style choice. I think the white just makes it feel very classic and not too overwhelming, especially if you're a person that doesn't do a lot of color or a lot of pattern. Sticking with something simple like white is the easiest, simplest and safest way to go, I think. Another daytime look that I actually was surprised by and was kind of unexpected was I put this skirt together with another button-up poplin shirt, but it was that teal kind of a color. And I wasn't sure if it would work, but if you notice at the bottom of the skirt, there's a tiny hint of teal. And even though they're not necessarily the same shade of teal, the top, the shirt is definitely a lot darker. I think that it really played on this color which I loved and then of course I wore it with my orange bralette because I was just feeling extra but I think that that color looks really great with this skirt also another daytime colorful look it's also something really unexpected and you'll definitely stand out in an outfit like that so if you're that kind of a person then that would be a really fun way to wear it now let's say I wanted to wear this on a night out and really dress it up a little bit more make it feel a little bit more of a night kind of an outfit. And I would do something more of a dressy top, like uh, something more silky or satiny, more flowy. So one of the ways that I styled it is with this lime green color right here. If you guys remember from my earlier videos, I have a kind of lime green yellowish satin top that actually matches that exact color. I did still wear the orange bralette and I also wore it with orange pumps. If I wanted to tone that down a little bit, I guess I could just take off the orange bralette and just wear that shirt and it would look a little bit more effortless and less fussy. So if your style is a little bit more effortless, less fussy, then I would do it that way. Me personally, I tend to lean both ways. I could go either way, it really just depends on my mood. The next kind of way that I would dress it up for a nighttime look is with a blue satin flowy shirt. This flowy shirt really makes it feel a lot more sexy, a lot more nighttime. Again, I wore it with the orange bralette, but it would honestly look so great without the orange bralette. I still wore it with my orange pumps. A blue satin button up shirt with this would just give it a really nice, effortless, sexy feel. It would be perfect for a nighttime look. And then of course, you can pair it with the matching shirt. Um, I think that this matching shirt as a set, you could wear this either daytime or nighttime because the shirt is vibrant. It's very summery along with the pattern on the skirt. So I really think that you could get away with either one. Uh, I think that it looked gorgeous, just undone with the orange bralette, orange pumps. I think it would be a really nice vacation day out or night out kind of an outfit, special event. I don't know, maybe Hamptons, maybe, you know, Montauk, something bougie like that. That's exactly the type of vibe that this gives me. Or even like Miami. This is the type of vibe that this as a set gives me. I honestly love the two together. I wasn't expecting to love them together. I actually got them separately to wear separately. And then when I styled them together, I really fell in love with it. There's a lot of summer daytime parties. So that's the type of thing that I envision wearing something like this too and I don't want to leave you guys with just styling the skirt because I did as you guys know from the last video I wore the top with some denim shorts and I kind of dressed it down so I'll include a clip of me styling that shirt separately as well I wore this on a boat day I think it's a very stylish bougie but very easy way to wear this top on vacation on a boat day on any hot summer day. You don't really wanna to be too fussy, you wanna be comfortable, but you still want that pop of style. 
I love this way of wearing it. And maybe I'll show you guys in the future a few more ways of wearing that. Also, if you wanna see really how I styled these items, I have a reel with that shirt and how I wore that. And I also have a reel coming up very soon of all the ways that I styled this. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you go follow me on Instagram because if you're not, you're missing out on a lot of really good reels and daily outfits. So that is it for today's video. As far as the next ones that are coming up, we are going to be doing a collective haul. I'm gonna be doing a Zara and H&M haul. I just placed the order for those items. I also have some of my vacation vlogs coming up where you can see me wearing some of these outfits. So that'll be really fun too. And what do we think about doing a Skims haul? I really want to try out some of the Skims shapewear. I've never ordered from Skims before, but I really wanna try it out. So let me know what you guys think about me doing a Skims haul. I really think that my viewers would probably love that because the shapewear, I need to know how the shapewear is hitting and I'm sure that you guys do, do too. I don't see a lot of Skims hauls showing a lot of this shapewear unless I just haven't come across them. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. Make sure you're following me on Instagram to keep up with me when I'm not uploading on YouTube and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!